Ahoy, my friends, Ryder here. All right, so today I'm gonna to be making a video showcasing uh, the fourth team of five. Super excited actually for tomorrow where I get to try and make Ruin Stern with 2K attack and uh, throw him out into the arena. But for today we'll be running Astrius, Celis, and Gilgamesh. Uh, I had a lot of fun yesterday running this team right here. Freyavia did honestly pretty good considering I don't have all the VCs, but super excited to run this team. This was originally the team that I thought would work best. Um, I say that because I think this team will be not only strong against win teams, but also be strong against uh, other elements as well. But only time will tell. And uh, so we'll throw them into the arena and see just how they do. Um, I know I've been running Gilgamesh a lot. Uh, I've been holding off on Orin because uh, I already said these are the teams I'm going to run this week, but I am going to be running a composition with Orin next week sometime just to kind of test him out. Okay, so that being said, let's get into the builds. We have Astrius here at 9.3k HP, 105 agility, good dex over 400, luck at 355, attack 1772. Okay, so I'm definitely running him slightly different build than before. I'm definitely running him with attack stones and not agility. Yeah, it looks like max HP up and attack. And defense 23, spirit 17. Uh, looks like very good stats in the back end. Everything green except for strike. Okay, Astrius is going to be an absolute monster today. Here we have Celis sitting at 10.6k HP, 99 agility. 381 dex, 327 luck. Uh, she's got almost a thousand magic, 60 defense, 47 spirit, and all in all, good resistances in the back end as well. Okay, I am running her Spellblade. Um, I don't really use, I guess I have used the other ones. I don't really want her to heal. I think we'll keep her on Spellblade for now and see how that goes. Okay, and as for Gilgamesh, he's sitting at 8.2k HP, 106 agility. 1500 attack, 338 dex, 351 luck, 6 defense, 6 spirit. Back in resistances, not amazing. Not amazing. 4% slash, 3% magic. He's essentially a tad bit of a glass cannon that can't hit as hard as you would like him to hit. Uh, but he does have a very interesting support kit, which is why I think Gilgamesh can be very interesting. So hopefully we can bring out the support in him, and when we hit some win teams, we'll see that if he can follow through with his elemental advantage. Okay, so that being said, let's get into the battles of the day. Pickle Rick. Okay, you may just be the very first battle of the day, Pickle Rick. Okay, we got 2800 attack, 1400 magic. It doesn't look like there's trust stones on this build. Let's see. Not really. Okay. Man, just giving up the opportunity to fight Pickle Rick. Okay, here we have Phalanx. This looks like an interesting build for sure. Leela, Kane, and Dwayne. Wow, well, that's a fun team. Celis would be basically useless in that fight. Okay, here we go. 2800 over 22. Let's sit all he's only 115. Does he have his card? He does. It's in the sub slot. I'm seeing that a lot actually with Sidoli. Uh, people putting his card in the sub slot. All right. Okay, so looking at everything. Lord Vodka. That looks fun. Here we have Lord Vodka. I haven't fought a Glaciella. If she has fully built trust stones, I'm down because I haven't fought Glaciella in a, at least not a fully built one. Dang, that would have been very fun. Okay, so let's see what we got here. Not gonna go for this team. Here we have Mud Pie. Um, t -t 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 -t. All right, I think I'm going to go for Phalanx. This team is, you know, has somewhat of an advantage. Celis is a magic tank. None of these characters are magic units. But I do like Kane, I do like Dwayne, and I do like Leela, and I do like the idea of them in a composition. So this sounds fun, although I think this will be a little bit of an uphill battle for us, but we'll see how it goes.
Okay, so I think I'm gonna definitely have to do some tweaking with this composition as we go. So we'll see how it is. Astra is starting it off with Deep Fortification, Cell is gonna use Runic Blade. Gilgamesh casting Haste on Celis. Okay, that's an interesting choice. It's gonna get her out in front, which is pretty good. Dwayne's gonna have the zombie transformation with Re-Raise. Okay, so Celis is quite far ahead. It looks like Astraeus is probably gonna use Deep Fortification right now, which is gonna keep him even more back. Celis looking pretty good though against Leela right there. There goes the limit break. Astraeus does use Deep Fortification again. We're gonna get the haste on Astraeus. Hopefully he can get that Courage off and get up there before Celis gets taken out, which is probably gonna be right about now. Ooh, looking pretty good. Okay, she's gonna get the Magic Burst. She does hit Dwayne. So Dwayne is gonna be essentially a one-shot for Astraeus, who is gonna get off Courage. We'll see what uh, Gilgamesh does right here. Hopefully he's casting Quicken. Yes, that's what I'm talking about. Okay, so hopefully Astrius is going to take out Dwayne. He's going to get the re-raise. Oh, and the re-raise removal right there. Okay, now Kane has Courage. That's another thing. Okay, Gilgamesh struggling to hit hard for sure. He does survive that hit from Lila. Okay, Kane's Courage proccing, and Gilgamesh is going to take him down. Okay, so now we just have Lila to contend with. Okay, Astrius and Leela, it looks like they both have Courage. Astrius kicking it off with the Limit Break. And it misses, and Crystal Tracer doesn't go off because it misses. Oh, just absolutely brutal right there. And can he take her down? He does! He comes in clutch right at the end, 1 HP and wins it. Okay. So that's the first battle of the day. Wow, Astrius is the MVP in that fight. That was freaking awesome. Okay, let's get into the second fight. We're at a five winning streak. Okay, here is a Sidali. Hopefully he's 120. Dang it, he is 115. Everyone is slacking right now. All right. Ooh, this looks quite fun. Uh, here we have Aranea, Sidali. Dolly, we don't have the card. Uh, if they have trust stones decent, maybe we can try. Okay, 12 trust stones. This looks like a fun team. I have not fought a wind over ice team. Um, I can't even remember the last time I fought a yin yang team that was these two elemental compositions. So this looks pretty fun. So let's give this a shot. Aranea is definitely a strong character. Um, I remember Cabbage really, really loved her. Honestly, uh, she's one of the characters. I think Terra is the character that I that I most wish I would have pulled. But other than Terra, I would say Aranea is second. Okay, so she's going to use uh, her AP Regan right there. Gilgamesh is going to use Kitafe's TMR. Here we have Astrius using the Deep Fortification. Gilgamesh ran off to the side over there. Not sure what he's doing. He ran away to haste Celis. That literally makes no sense. And Celis misses against Gilgamesh off the bat. Very interesting start to this fight. Gilgamesh looking... Okay, so that was actually good because Astrius got off the... Um, he got off his Courage much faster. Okay, Celis looking good, absorbing that hit from Sidali. Another miss. I wonder if this team has higher evasion. Uh, Gilgamesh running up to challenge Aranea. Aranea can use the High Wind Limit Break against Celis right here. Super sick Limit Break. Celis looking just amazing as a tank right now. She is just completely holding up. Astrius takes down Gilgamesh. He does get the re-raise. We'll see what Sidali does right here. Ooh, Celis gets the second block. Super clutch. Gilgamesh goes down. Our Gilgamesh is going to come in and hit Aranea, remove all her buffs. She's going to jump. Someone's going to go down. 
Okay, so Celis goes down. We'll see what uh, Asterisk does right here. So Dolly goes down, RNA goes down, and we get the second win of the day. Let's freaking go. Okay, going into the third fight. Hopefully we can find a Sedali with, uh, that's 120 with full trust stones and his BC. That will be pretty awesome. I'm not really sure why you would run it in the sub slot, uh, especially because of all the buffs that it gives him because of the, uh... okay, this team definitely has fully built trust stones, but it's lacking. Yeah, for sure. You can see it in the stats. Fully built, well built too. Okay, so Dark Darken. This is a very good contender for someone fight uh, someone we might fight this round. But I am looking for a Sadali at 120 with his card. Still not seeing it. I really don't think that he was a popular choice. It's not seeing very much of him. Okay, let's go down. This team is definitely going to be strong. Uh, but that's why we're here to test out these compositions against the strong, strongest teams that we can find or the funnest teams we can find. Uh, either way, uh, I've been having a lot of fun. So I think that we will find a Sodali with his VC maxed. Um, well, strange enough, I, I, it's weird that I've been seeing them in the sub slot. <clears throat> okay, so Astri is going to use Deep Fortification to kick it off. Celis going to use Runic Blade. Okay, June's gonna start off with her buff. Here we have Leela. Oh, Renan's TMR is so sick. <clears throat> okay, so Celis is gonna get the haste. She's gonna get out in front. Okay, looking pretty good so far. Astrius is not gonna get off the courage this round. And Gilgamesh does not haste Astrius, but instead goes for the quicken on Celis. Very interesting. Okay, so this is definitely looking to be an uphill battle. Very strange AI change uh, with what happened. Uh, honestly, Gilgamesh has acted differently in every single fight we've done. Here we have Leela running out. Very strong hit right there. Gilgamesh takes her down, that's great. Astrius goes in, whoa, major hit against Joom right there. Oh gosh, Celis runs back, she has the charm and she's limit breaking our own team. Please tell me she does not take out at, uh... Okay, she takes out Gilgamesh. That's freaking savage. Oh my gosh, Astrius gonna have to save the day yet again. He be does. Oh my gosh, what a fight. That was freaking crazy. Celis getting charmed and then limit breaking our own team, killing Gilgamesh. What is the world coming to? Alright, so it looks like we are... Kalsfer, take your foot out of your mouth. You're not supposed to eat your foot. Sorry, that is my cat, and he has his foot planted firmly into the middle of his mouth, and he's chewing on it. Um... A very interesting sound. <laughs> all right, so going down, let's check all the win teams just to make sure we can find. Ooh, a 78 Sedali. That looks threatening. Okay, let's keep going. Blade of Godly Speed. That's a really cool title. Here we have Andres. Okay, still no Sedali. Still no Sedali. And we're in the top 1,000. Okay, still. Still no. Wow, I'm honestly pretty surprised. Here we have a 118 Sedali, but no BC. Okay, so essentially there's no Sedalis here. Let's see what else we can find. We've already fought Dark. Um, we did win. Here looks like this actually looks looks like a pretty fun Dark team. Here we have Joker, Helena, and Leela. Leela does have. Anima, the stats look pretty good. Um, let's give this a shot. Which one was this? Was this Negan? Yeah, this is Negan. Okay, cool. Alright, going into the fourth battle of the night. We are con currently undefeated. Um, there's definitely been some close fights. Astrius is clutching hard as an MVP. 
I think Celis is definitely holding her own, um, just not when she's limit breaking her own team. And uh, yeah, it's going good so far. Gilgamesh, very strange. Uh, once again, running off to the side to throw haste. That makes basically no sense. I think it happens when the flank on the enemy team runs forward. Um, but since he's buffing, it really makes no sense. But it does kind of work because Astrius is going to get off Courage, I believe, on his next turn. Also, it's kind of nice to have Celis run out first because uh, she's going to take all the strongest hits from the enemy. And because of how tanky she is, uh, she can take a decent amount of them. I mean, she's taking, like, wow, Astria is super, super, super clutch. Hitting freaking hard and from so far away. Okay, Gilgamesh comes in with the haste. He's going to haste himself. Celis is going to move forward, do the magic burst. Joker looking as tanky as he normally does. Okay, he's going to go for the limit break. Hopefully Celis will survive this. I don't think he has an AP... Oh, he does have an AP Regan on. And he got defense piercing right up. Astrius is going to run out. He only has 18 AP left. This is going to be a tough fight. Gilgamesh right now is going to haste Astrius, but he only has one more hit in before he's going to have to... Uh... Ooh, this is going to hurt. He does not have courage. Oh, this is going to hurt. Astrius goes down. Gilgamesh is quick and misses. Oh, that's savage. Okay, first loss of the night. We are 3-1. and one. I think that this team is definitely super strong. We have to figure out a different way to utilize Gilgamesh. Okay, so, and also a different way to utilize um, Astrius. How can we set them up in a way that... He does not double cast Deep Fortification, so who's the fastest? Gilgamesh is 106, Celis is 99, and Astrius is 105. So Gilgamesh is going to go first, then Astrius is going to run into Celis. Okay, so... Then he's going to run into Gilgamesh. If Gilgamesh has... Haste and Quicken on. I think I'm going to turn off Quicken. We don't want him Quickening Celis. We can cast Haste, but I think that that about uh, runs the extent of that. Quickening Celis is not really doing much. Let's try this composition and see if it works. Um, actually... If I put Astrius in the middle, let's see, then Gilgamesh will move in, haste Astrius, who will deep fortification Gilgamesh, but because he has haste, he will get back to Celis quicker, use deep fortification again, Celis will get the second haste from Gilgamesh, and Astrius should be able to get courage and stay closer to Celis in the meantime. We got one fight left to test this out. Hopefully it will work. What do we have here? Fury ND. Okay. Mono Water. That's an interesting team. Let's see what we got. Well, it's basically the same setup. Okay. Okay, here we have a Mono Water team. You know, I'm curious. I don't always do this, but we just fought Negan right now. We changed our composition, and I'm going to see if it makes a difference. So we just lost to this team. We changed this around, and I really do think that the buff sequence uh, makes a massive difference. So let's see if it actually does. Um, uh, keep in mind, this is actually this is a test run for this buff sequence, so we've yet to see how it will pr play out. Um, I'm predicting a certain sequence of uh, moves, but I don't always predict it right, so we'll have to see. So Gilgamesh hopefully casts haste on Astrid right now. It looks like actually he's casting haste on Celis. So we'll see how this works, actually. Astrius also did the opposite of what I thought he would do. I thought he would use Deep Fortification on 
Gilgamesh since he's slot one. Gilgamesh hasted himself. Very interesting. Okay, so it looks like he's going to... <laughs> this is actually super funny. This is like a great example of when you think something is going to happen and that doesn't happen whatsoever. <laughs> Alright, so Gilgamesh going for the second haste. He's going to be on Celis this time. She gets priority. She is a tank. Okay, Celis runs out. She's going to get the magic burst on Helena. Gilgamesh is going to get off Inherited Tyranny. Joker is going to get the hit. Hopefully uh, Gilgamesh survives. He does. Helena is going to go for the attack. Celis should absorb it. That's perfect. That's what I want to see. Celis is going to get off another attack on Helena. And it looks like Astrius is going to take her down right there. But he is not going to have courage. Uh, little Leela going to take down Celis. Gilgamesh going to run out. He's going to use Protex Plus. Joker is going to take down Gilgamesh right here. And because Astrius does not have courage, our chances of winning this fight are significantly lower. Problem with that deep fortification is it's one of those buffs. Cloud has the same one where he will keep casting it over and over if people don't have it. Oh, and so strong from uh, freaking Astrius right there. We'll see what he does. And we managed to do it. So we fought the exact same team that we just fought and lost to. We changed the buff sequence. It wasn't even the greatest buff sequence, but as you can see, just making little changes to your composition can make a huge difference to the team. Uh, I think that definitely figuring out a way for Astrius to get Deep Fortification off on Celis and Gilgamesh in one go is the best beta for this team. Uh, I wasn't able to figure it out in these few terms. That doesn't mean that I don't think it's possible. I do 100% think it's possible to figure that out. Um, because then if you can get Deep Fortification off on both of the other units, then you can guarantee you get off his Courage. If you get off Astrius's Courage, he is an absolute monster, as all of you know. And even without getting off his Courage, he still was an absolute monster. So we went 4-1, and one, um, and still this team could use a fine bit of tweaking. But all in all, it was pretty freaking fun. Had a lot of fun today. Unfortunately, we did not find a 120 Sedali with his card at 99. Um, so tomorrow, hopefully, with some lucky Ruin Stern goes, we will find one. Uh, so my hopes are up for that. That being said, I hope you guys all enjoyed the video. Um, I want to thank everyone who has subscribed to the channel. I truly appreciate all of you and all of your support, all of your comments. Uh, it's been very fun making these teams and working together with all of you to make the best teams we can. So thank you very much from the bottom of my heart. Um, that being said, I hope you all have a wonderful day. Take care and peace.